In this lecture, we're going to be exploring the cascade and delete a bit more. What it does is that it helps to maintain the data integrity by automatically deleting related records when a parent record is deleted. In simple terms, it ensures there is no orphan or invalid data remains in the database. So to get a better understanding of this, let's look at two tables. We have table 1, which is departments, and table 2, which is the employees table. Whenever we delete a record from the department's table, we want every employee that is associated with that department to be deleted. So for example, if we delete the accounting department, we need all the employees in the employees table that is in the accounting department to be deleted. Now here's the important thing to note. The department ID in the employees table is a foreign key which references the primary key ID in the department table. So when a row is deleted from the department's table, we want all the associated rows in the employees table to be deleted and this will be done based on the primary key and foreign key relationship. Now the correct way to enforce this is enabling cascade and delete. So let's head over to management studio now to take a look at how we can achieve this. So here I have a demo database which I'll be using for this tutorial, right? And I have a script that will create the department's table, the employee's table, some insert scripts that will insert data in the department's table, as well as the employee's table, right? If you look at the employee's table, it has the department ID, which is a foreign key, which references the department's ID column, right? So this is the relationship between the two tables. The ID in the department's is a foreign key in the employee's table. So let's execute the script. Now I'm going to open a new session to the database. So I'm going to do a select all from both tables. So let's execute both queries and let's examine the data. So here we can see that employee James and Marvin is both in the accounting department. So what we're going to do now is that we are going to be deleting the accounting department. So it's delete from departments where id equal to. Now let's execute this statement. And as you can see, we got arrow. The statement conflicted with the reference constraint F key employee department random name, right? Conflict occurred in the database demo table employees and the column department ID. The statement was terminated. So basically this arrow makes sense. What it is doing is that it is it's preventing you from deleting the accounting department because it have associated data in the employees table. So if we deleted the accounting department here, then in the employees table, we are left with employees with department that has no reference in the department's table. And this would mean that we have our fund data or the data has lost its integrity. Because basically you'd be saying James is in department 2 or say accounting, but when we check the departments 2, there is no accounting. So if that is the case, so if the delete had went through, we would not be able to validate the department of James and Marvin. So to resolve this, we enable cascade on delete. So the first thing that we need to do is drop the constraint. So it goes by the command alt table, employees drop constraint, constraint name. We can take the constraint name from the arrow as well as we can double check this by expanding the database name, expanding tables, expand the tables with the constraint, expand the keys folder. Now let's bring this across. And as you can see that we have the foreign key, employees the par, 2, 6 and the random name, right? So let's just copy this name. Now let's execute this. Now when we refresh the keys column, we are no longer seeing the constraint because it has been dropped. Now we need to add the constraint back, but this time we need to include the cascade and delete. So this is the command to achieve that. So I'm going to give it the same name and its department ID. Now let's execute this. Now let's run our delete statement again. Let's execute. Now when we do a select from both tables, we'll see that the department was successfully deleted and the two employees that were in the accounting department were also removed from the table. So what we did is that we altered the employees table, add the constraints, specify the constraint name. The name can be anything really, right? 
and we're adding a foreign key which is the department id which references the department's table id and this is the important piece which is on delete cascade now when we refresh the keys again we'll see that the key was recreated so to summarize using the delete and cascade clause is a great way to enforce data integrity on your database when you perform delete operations